Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an idea of the desktop setup that I'm running here in my workshop with the Pi 5. I've got an audio device uh, plugged in here, it's the H1 and I've got my uh, high quality camera, the Raspberry Pi high quality camera um, with the microscope glass so I can take a look at some of the electronics that I'm making, I've been making some recently. I've got another camera plugged in right there. So I'm running dual camera on the Raspberry Pi 5. You can see right now, I'm recording audio. This audio that you're listening right now is being recorded through the Pi 5. And you can see that the, the fan is going right now. I have a couple other things set up. So let's uh, jump to screen capture. Okay, so we're in screen capture now, and I'm going to go over to terminal to show you how I've been using my Pi 5. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is pop up the camera. So hello there, this is the corner of the workshop where I have all my biking stuff, have my electronic stuff down here. It's been a mess. I'm working on something right now. I'm working on this board. I'm making a few units. So this is a Pico W on board uh, that I'm using to connect a particulate matter. Uh, sensor to it so to qual to monitor air quality uh, it's been going really well I'm making a few of these and they're available in Tindy I'm gonna put the link down below I uh, use this camera for inspecting some of my um, solder jobs and I also use the other camera I'm gonna show you right now I'm gonna close this one out and I'm gonna go to camera one I have both cameras plugged into the Pi 5 as you know it has two connectors uh, for either camera or display. So you can connect uh, one camera and one display, two displays or two cameras. Right now I have two cameras plugged in. Uh, the other camera is mounted upside down. So I have it to do a H flip, V flip. And you can see one of my boards here. This is a different board uh, that I'm working on. Uh, but as you can see, the the image quality is pretty awesome, and I can use this. It's a Pimeroni um, microscope glass uh, that's plugged into my uh, Raspberry Pi HQ camera. It, it's really nice. I can inspect all my solder jobs, uh, take a look at all those joints, make sure there aren't any shorts. This is what I have been doing here in my um, electronic section of my workshop. A few other things that I use this also, this Pi 5 for, I've been using Visual Studio Code. So I have a script that I use to flash the firmware on some of those these boards that I work on. So it's just really convenient to be able to use uh, Visual Studio Code. It takes a second or two longer to launch code on the Pi 5 than it does on my regular laptop, you know, my, the computer that I use for coding. Uh, but once you're in the software itself, there are no issues. It works just fine. It's really responsive uh, running things in terminal, you know, of course, is really responsive. And um, just having this computer sitting here on my workbench is is just awesome. Uh, before I, use, I was using the, the Pi 5, I was using the rock 5b which i have right here and i had quite a few issues with this board as you can see it doesn't have a wi-fi module on board so it comes with this uh, connector right here and i had to purchase the module separately this is a 150 dollar board and when you have to add like wi-fi hell has these guys like dangling uh, another thing that I don't like is this uh, micro SD card just sticking out and sometimes it get bumped and it, uh, it would stop working because the connection is just failed you know because it was bumped um, I really didn't like that another thing that doesn't work very well on this board is um, the the um, m.2 SSD connector right here it is on board uh, but uh, it, it doesn't work very well this board the rock 5b has some issues with power management and making sure that the ssd was getting enough power i was having issues with it so i just decided i was not going to use it anymore 
Uh, now I replaced this board with the Pi 5 that's sitting here in my workbench. And it's just great to have a computer on my workbench. It barely uses any power. I can browse around the internet. I can do things like this. I can record videos, uh, record sound. The sound is being recorded in my H1N through the Raspberry Pi 5. It works pretty well. Uh, sometimes recording audio and video at the same time can get a little laggy. Uh, again, this is not, you know, a desktop computer. It's still a single board computer, but it's just awesome to look up things on a computer on my workbench. Uh, for instance, I also have KiCad installed. KiCad is the software that I use to design the PCBs and it uh, has this functionality of generating uh, interactive bomb, like a bill of materials. So I can take a look at all the components that I have to place on my board and follow along. Uh, with you know the parts that I'm putting on the board and things that I have open here on the screen So I just use this and sometimes I use the the shortcuts on the keyboards to complete uh, the lines This board is pretty simple not that many components to place But I have some boards that I have you know way more components and it's kind of handy to have, have this on my workbench So that's what I've been using the the Pi 5 uh, Lately, I'll be making some more videos on the dual camera uh, I'll post them later. I haven't recorded video through the cameras. Um, I've been using the cameras just to inspect things and it's great to have those two cameras, uh, but I haven't recorded uh, the video yet. I've tried using OBS. I have OBS installed here, OBS Studio, but uh, the cameras are not recognized inside OBS. So it's not like you would be able to stream those cameras just yet. It looks like it worked on the Pi 4. I'm gonna test it out on the Pi 4 later, but it is not working on the Pi 5 right now. So there you have it. This is what I've been using my Pi 5 lately here in my workshop to do some electronics work and just browsing the internet, doing some coding while I have some time uh, down here in my workshop. So I'll talk to you guys later.